Now, throughout uh, who we've got here throughout the start, there's four seven rows. Tatai then is on pole position, his first pole of the year. Ruiz, good quality from over to the Moto2 European Championship and do it. Uh, fought it out for I think it was the Aprilia RS. Come on, as the pressure in the background comes off the grid and it's a great start there from Aegis. Aegis got a great launch from fourth on the grid. He's already going for the lead. Aegis round the outside of all of them. Who's going to be Leon the base? Aegis from fourth on the grid. Wow, he's already got a couple of bike lines into turn number one. It's Carlos Tata about bumping aboard for the back. Carlos Tata has been shuffled down to second. But Ruth up the outside, he's having absolutely none of it from St. Aegis, the 72 rider. He's punted the championship leader out wide and he's got, and for company now, Carlos Tatai with Nicolo Antonelli who's finally got off the line well in 2023 he's in fourth spot but what a launch off the line that was from 10 ages here comes Tatai up the inside into oh, the Pons corner have some of that says Carlos Tatai and what's oh. happened there whoa on the curbs I'm not sure if there was a bit of a moment up to the two that we think will be scrapping it out for this race win are your top two in the race. Carlos Tata leads the Aegis. So that was a bit of a scrappy and what just happened type <laughs> yeah, first was. half of a lap. So Carlos Tata then fluffed the start. There for Wreath and Carlos Tata just sat up to avoid it. But Carlos Tata down the back street, up the inside of Wreath, late on the brakes into Pedro's Accord. And he's done it ages as well. Follows him through. So your top S rail by, by Tata when he was in second. Crashed out after a long lap penalty in Valencia, and he's now crashed out here as well. So we know Harrison Voigt has got the potential, he's got the speed, so and we know he'll be back fighting once again. Only perfection so far this weekend and in this race as well. So he's on charge for his first win in the European Moto 2 Championship. And as you mentioned earlier on, Jack, this is a class we've really seen a lot of riders that have sort of become stagnated and Moto3 have come over to this class and really rebuilt their career. So Alonso yeah. Lopez is shaping up. Where is the best for Ruth? His Senate ages ran a little bit deep into Petrosa corner there, but Carlos Tata, there's nothing we can say that's not been, that will give him gleaming praise because he has been absolute. Senna Aegis is really, oh, no, he's going to turn it tight. I thought they were going to touch there as he went for the curb, the apex of the corner, powering down the back straight into Petrosa corner. Now we saw Senna Aegis look up the inside one lap ago, but Ruth chopped the front, or chopped the nose off the front of that machine. Bit of a bobble on the brakes for both of them, but managed to get it squared up correctly. And that come from, he really, Ruiz there. he really, really did. They did both make it through the corner, they did indeed, but that scrap is going to continue on as we've got a crash for Ryder number 98, that's Inter, he was at the back of the field, crash at number 11, Ryder okay, so thankfully it was good to hear that, coming through the corner now, but Senna Aegis, he really did surprise Ruiz there, I don't expect Ruiz saw that coming whatsoever, what can Ruiz do to retaliate there, he's climbing all over the back into Pedroza corner, we know he's good in the breaks, Yari Ruiz is uh, still holding that, but I'm going to have a look at the battle behind, last lap, Xavi Cardelus and Mattia Rato were half a second quicker, than both this group in front of them. So they're only 2.4 seconds back. If they scrap as much as they are, just so you can see in the background oh, there. Oh, big move, ages. Big Wow, moves. weird. I think that he's all off on his own. If it starts the last lap, the number 99 of the Pertamina Mandalika SAG racing team machine. He's on course for race victory number one on only his fourth race here in the Moto2 European Championship. Carlos Tata has been absolutely outstanding. Barring a mistake, he's just powering, powering through turn number four. Absolutely brilliant to watch that. As further back, it looks like Ruth has a couple of bike lengths advantage over Senna Aegis as we watch Carlos Tatai come through. And this very same paddock back in 2019 and also when he won the Red Bull Rookies Cup in 2019 too. So certainly Carlos Tatai has been a long time between Whoa, first moment place for podium Ruiz. Wow. As hang on, Ruiz. You could get a podium as well, but don't throw it down the road in the final lap. As Senna Aegis looks as though maybe, maybe he could do a late lunge down into turn 13, but with a championship already on his mind, surely you'll think he'd take the, the 16 points for third place, but you never know because he's right at the back of him now. 16 points is still better than zero. To turn number five and then power down the street into Pedroza corner. Half a lap to go for the number 99 as he's on course for victory number one. Yeah, obviously this will be a huge release of kind of weight on his shoulders for Carlos Tata. He hasn't won a race since he was in the Moto3 Junior World Championship, as it was called back. Points, so you might be thinking about that, but 25 points is what everyone wants, and Carlos Tata is well on his way. One corner to go as he comes through the exit. Carlos Tata knows he's done it. He pops a wheelie, he does what? What a man. As he comes across like Carlos Tata is a race winner in the Moto2 European Championship. Ruiz holds on. He does it ahead of St. Aegis, who finishes third, and rack spot by Carlos. 
Shot loss, Tatai, take a bow, son. You have been absolutely outstanding all weekend. You don't see it often, but he's led every single session as he kisses the sky. Oh, oh Antonelli, Antonelli crashed, crashed on the last lap. Oh, so just holds off Xavi Cardellus for four. The Moto2 European Championship, a cracking wheelie over the line, powering down the straight. Very, very, I'll give you 10 out of 10 for that, Carlos. You were brilliant all weekend and your wheelie was as well. You can hear the celebrations in the background. It's ch cheering for Carlos Tatai. Wow, that was a big win, and it's great to see when a rider has just finally won his first race. He lets out the emotions, and, well, you can imagine there'll be absolutely no one as happy as the number 99 Spanish rider. Big leap into the arms of his team and his mechanics. It's a big team effort, and all of motorcycle races, it's not just the rider. A little bit emotional, but all happy. Senna Aegis is uh, rolling on to the next one, not looking too happy, does the young 17-year-old. He'll be turning 18 in a couple of weeks. And contrast that with Yari Ruiz, who is absolutely overjoyed, and especially Carlos Tatai. Two men in the podium that can't believe their luck and they're absolutely overjoyed. Senna Aegis, a little bit subdued there, gives a handshake to Carlos Tatai as we have the director of Sukito de Jerez, Angel Nieto, handing over the winner's trophy to the team, the Pertamina Mandalika SAG racing team. That is their first win of the season, and you can imagine there's going to be plenty more. Senna Aegis picks up a trophy that he's never actually received, the Moto2 European Championship, third place for him. Every single race he's finished before then was either a first or second place, so he's going to be putting that one on the mantelpiece. Uh, a little bit away from the rest of them as he's chasing the, the number one prize. Yari Ruiz, look at the smile from Yari Ruiz, the number 72 rider, points to the sky, and yes, he is second place, and you can imagine with that confidence, he'll be chasing victories later on, but no one could chase this one, this rider for victory. Carlos Tatai is your race winner. He only is fourth race in the class, and he's already a race winner, and plenty, plenty more to come from Carlos Tatai.